Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing um, my Owls TBR. So the Owls is a magical readathon and it takes place all through the month of April and it is hosted by G at Book Roast who I will leave a link down below to her channel and also her um, Owls 2020 announcement video so you can go and check that out. Um, yeah, it's actually been a while since I've been on here. Um, as you may have noticed if you have still stuck around as a subscriber, but I was just very busy with school and um, the stress of being a university student, it was very nerve-wracking, but now since um, we are all in quarantine and we have a bunch of free time, um, I'm able to start filming again. So I decided to do something a bit differently um, uh, this time around I tried to do the owls last year and I just couldn't um, make the time to read as much as I wanted to um, but this year I am very determined and I want to actually complete all of the challenges um, I don't have a specific um, like career that I want to do it's I just I just want to challenge myself to see if I can actually read 12 books which there are 12 prompts I have the prompts um on my phone here so i'm gonna just read them off and i'll tell you what um books i plan on reading for those uh classes so i'm just gonna jump right into it so the first class is ancient ruins and it says um heart ruin heart on the cover or in the title so for that one i'm actually going with i'm gonna try to read finale by stephanie garber this is the third and final book in the caraval series or trilogy and I actually have started reading this. I've only read, what is it? Only chapter five, so that's page like like 20, so not very far. Um, I am planning on actually reading it sort of soon, but if I end up finishing this before April, which I doubt that I will, it is March 25th right now. <laughs> today so we'll see how that goes but if I do end up finishing this I'm going to then pick up Love and Gelato by uh, Jenna Evans Welch and I'm planning on reading this on audiobook if I manage to finish this by um, April if I continue reading it in April then I'm just gonna stick with this one but if I finish this by April then I will pick this one up. The next class is Arithmacy and it says uh, magical qualities of number two, balance slash opposites, read something outside your favorite genre. So outside my favorite genre is, my, my least favorite genre is probably sci-fi. Um, I'm not a big sci-fi reader, um, but for this one, I am going with Scarlet by uh, Marissa Meyer. This is the second book in the Lunar Chronal series. Um, again, I have started reading it. I'm only on page 30, so not very far. But I did enjoy the first one. But I know this is like a sci-fi um, retelling of A Little, Little Red Riding Hood. So... Um, I did enjoy the first one, which is about Cinderella, so I'm eager to see what I think about this one. Um, again, as I said, sci-fi is not my genre, so I'm looking forward to see what I think of this. The next class is Astronomy, and it says, Night classes read majority of this book when it's dark outside. So I know a lot of people, I think, are doing, um like whatever is already on their TBR, and they're just reading it at night if they have this class, but... I'm gonna be ambitious and actually pick a book. Well, not too ambitious because this is a short book, but it's actually a graphic novel. It is Lumberjanes Volume 5 by, oh my gosh, I can never think of the author. Um, can never think of the author of this book. Anyways, um, but it is really, really good. I love, love these books they are so cute and colorful and very like empowering and like the art style is so cool and I love it as I said this is volume five and I have I think I have like I think there's like 12 already out so which is insane um so I gotta catch up but nonetheless I'm looking forward to reading this all right the next class is care of magical creatures and it says hippogriffs creatures with or no creature with a beak on the cover. So for this one, I actually went with a middle grade because I love 
I actually really enjoy reading middle grade um, and this series that I'm reading is so good and it's so cute and that is uh, The Land of Stories book 3 A Grim Warning by Chris Colfer. As you can see there is a beak on the cover because of the goose um, and yeah it's really cute. It is quite a chunker but I always fly through these books because they're just so cute and they're so fun and I love it so so much and yeah, as I said, this is the third book in the series. I believe there's six book in six books in the series. So again, I want to catch up and continue on. So the next class is Charms, which says Lumos Maxima, which is re like a white cover. So for this one, I chose a mystery thriller. And if you have been following me for a bit, especially on Twitter, you would know that I love thrillers. Like I'm getting into a lot of mystery thrillers lately. Lately, so the one that I chose for this one is The Whisper Man by Alex North. I've heard a lot of people really love this book. Um, again, I'm not really sure what it's about, but I know that everybody likes it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this. And I don't really want to know anything that to go like going into this because I really enjoy reading mystery thrillers more um, when I don't know a lot. So yeah i'm looking forward to this one as well so the next one is defense against the dark arts um grindelow's book set at sea and coast okay so this is actually a book that i'm actually really excited for because it's been on my tbr literally for a couple years now and i'm finally have an excuse to pick it up but i've been really really in the mood for historical fiction and so i decided to read salt to the sea by ruta sepides sepidi ruta Sepides? Is that what it is? I can't remember how people say it, but um, I believe it's a World War II... Okay, yeah, it would be just... It's either, like, sort of in the middle or after World War II, something like that. Um, again, not really... I knew what it was about when I got it, but now it's been, like, a couple years, and I'm like, oh, gosh, what the heck was this book about again? But that's okay, because I like going into books blind, so, again, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited. Historical fiction. Yes. Okay, so the next class is divination and it says third eye. Assign numbers to your TBR and use a random number generator to pick your read. I already did this. I did this a couple days ago and I got the number 60. Yes, I have over that many books on my TBR and um, so since it came up as 60, it came up as Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. And again, I have no idea what the heck this is about. I know people on booktube here enjoy it. It's very short, so which is good for a readathon, but yeah. Okay, so the next class is Herbology, which I personally love that class. I wish I could take Herbology all the time because I love plants and I love things like that. I am... Okay, so a little story. So I actually did the new Potter quiz, like the Pottermore quiz. Um, I forget, like, was it, it was just around when it came out, which was, I think it was earlier this year or something like that, and I took it and I got Hufflepuff when I am actually a Ravenclaw because when I first took the quiz, um, when I first did it, I got Ravenclaw. I was kind of iffy about it, um, because I'm like, am I really a Ravenclaw? I actually thought, always thought I was a Hufflepuff. And then I took the Pottermore quiz um, a couple months ago when the new version came out and I got Hufflepuff. So I don't know what I am. <laughs> I'm a Ravenpuff, I guess. So embrace it. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, Herbology is um, mim Mimbulus. I can't even read that. And I have my contacts in, but Mimbulus Mimblatona, Tonia, <laughs> a title that starts with an M. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I know a lot of people were really confused about that, um, class prompt because it looks like an I with, like, brackets in it, but, um, I watched G's video and G said that it's an M, so I'm going with an M, and the only book on my TBR that I have an M in, that has an M, is, uh, My Plain Jane by the Lady Janies, which are Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows. I read My Lady Jane couple years ago now and I really really enjoyed it I thought it was super super good um and I, I just haven't gotten to this one yet and I don't know why but 
good thing because I'm reading it next month and I am super, super excited. All right, and the next one is History of Magic, uh, Witch Hunts, book featuring witches and wizards. So I think everybody here is going to choose Harry Potter and let alone I will be too. <laughs> All right, so the next uh, class is Muggle Studies and it says book from a perspective of a muggle so like a contemporary so for this one i chose i think this is the shortest contemporary on my tbr i just it just looks short so that's why i picked it up and that is pride by ivy zoboy um this is the owl Creed exclusive edition um that we received last year was it last year or the year before no it must have been the year before i think and it is signed and obviously it's a retelling of pride and prejudice and that's all i want to know so and um yep that's all i want to know and it's short so i don't even think it's 300 pages to be quite honest no it's under 300 pages so this should be easy to get to during the readathon so yeah so the next class is potions and it says shrinking solution and it says um a book under 150 pages so for this one i actually went with another graphic novel because who does not love short reads during readathons and that is fence volume one um i actually already read this i re i read it last year but honestly i forget what the heck happens all that i know is that i really liked it so yeah so yeah, I am obviously looking forward to this because <laughs> it's a graphic novel and I love graphic novels, but um, I do want to continue on with this graphic novel series. So yeah, I just forget what happens in this one. So I'm going to reread it during this readathon. Okay, and the last class is Transfiguration, um, Anna anagamous lecture book series that includes shape shifting so i did actually have a couple options for this on my shelf but i i went with the one that i'm actually not looking forward to because i know i need to finish it because i hate stopping in the middle of a book and just even if i'm not enjoying it i need to finish it and um yeah i'm still reading uh <laughs> eclipse by stephanie meyer yeah, I chose this because I know it will be quick and I know I can get through it fast. Maybe this will be the first one that I take off my list because I just want to get it done and over with. So, yeah. If you don't know the Twilight series, trust me, you're not missing much. <laughs> um, but I just read these for the joy of them. Like, I find I find them kind of fun, but I know the writing's not the best. But, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about this book. I'm so sorry if my camera kind of changed a bit, um, but I just had to change the battery in it. But yeah, anyways, that was my um, Owls TBR for the month of April. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and it's good to be back here on BookTube, and I look forward to chatting with everybody a bit more and um, making more um, great content and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will leave a link down below to all my handles. I have a Goodreads, Twitter, and um, Instagram if you guys want to go and follow me there. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys in my next one.